what you did is a straight-up felony. And you're not going to get away with it. What is going on here? You were in on this. Uh, I hope so, because the look on your face is priceless. No, this makes sense. This didn't really feel like Rosanna's style, but you, you wouldn't think twice. What is he talking about? Nothing. Nothing. What is it you get out of protecting this loser? Paul had nothing to do with this. Uh, what is it that I had nothing to do with? I just reclaimed the money that Craig mistakenly thought was his. I'm not sure a court would agree with that, sweetheart. Well, you may be right, darling. Justice has always been a little bit blind where you're concerned. Uh -huh. I... Just stay out of this. This is why you came back, isn't it? To get a little revenge on Craig. Oh, yes, yes, that's why I came back. Reclaiming my life is all about just getting back at you. You haven't changed at all. You're still the same cold, calculating woman you've always been. I'll take that as a compliment. Good. Consider yourself warned. I'm gonna come at you in ways you can't even imagine. I'm guessing that you have your own perverse logic as to why you would do something like this. Yeah, I do. You want to fill me in because I'm the one that Craig's going to come after. I am the one that stole all his money. I hacked into his computer, not you. I know. But what you did was a criminal offense. You could go to jail. So could you. But I won't. Because I can argue that the money was mine to begin with. Okay. And what do you see happening after that? Worst case scenario, I could end up battling it out in court. Exactly. Correct? Which is the one thing that you said you wanted to avoid. The messenger just dropped this off for you. Thank you. It's from Mac. What do you see? It's a revised custody agreement for Eliza. What does it say? She's going to allow me supervised visits. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's extreme. And if I don't screw it up, overnight visits and maybe some vacation. I, I was going to say that's extremely generous, but that's incredibly generous of Meg. It is. It's more than I'd ever hoped for. Paul, Paul, you don't want to mess this up. No, I don't. I mean, this is proof that Meg thinks that having Eliza and you in each other's lives it is a good thing. Yeah. Well, she always had more faith in me than I had in myself. Whatever you do, don't, don't jeopardize this. And how are you going to be in your daughter's life if you end up in jail? I'm just not going to let you throw your life away on some misguided attempt to help me. You really think my life is worth saving? Yeah, I do. What if it's not? I mean, what if this is just kind of who I am? What do you mean? I mean, I, I never said there wasn't room for improvement. Yeah, but what if I can't change? You know, what if I never change? My father never changed. Well, you are nothing like your father. I mean, for one thing, you recognize when you've done something wrong. And, and for another thing, it bothers you. Right. A conscience. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Use it. Use it. Become a better person. Better father to Eliza. What about a better friend? Well, I wouldn't, you know, go crazy. No, no, no. I think I'm onto something. I think I know a way that I can help you, if you'll let me. What? We're all set? Yeah, my lawyer's in New York, but he's flying in. He'll be here tomorrow morning. You <laughs> just have to sit tight until then. You think you can manage that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. Thank you, Paul. No, oh, please. <laughs> I'm the reason Craig has got you set in his sights. And the least I can do is help you get out of it. Mr. Ryan, Lieutenant Hughes is here to see you both. You don't have to announce me. Thank you. Hi, Margot. It's so nice to see you again. How, oh. how are you? Oh, I appreciate the pleasantries, Rosanna. They're a little wasted on me, Paul. What can we do for you, Lieutenant? Well, I have some questions. I'm hoping the two of you have some answers.
Questions? Questions about what? Well, something really interesting just happened. What? I got a phone call from Craig, which isn't that interesting, except that he said he wanted to report a crime, but he didn't want to talk to me on the phone. He wanted to talk to me in person at the station. Why are you telling us this riveting story? Because on the way to the station, he got hit by a car. What? Is he dead? No, he's not, Paul. It was a hit and run, just a twisted ankle. Wow. Well, wh why, why are you telling us? What do we have to do with this? Well, it's odd, isn't it? Didn't something like that happen to you? Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, well. Yeah. Hmm. Weren't you in a terrible accident on the way to report a crime? A crime that involved Craig, as a matter of fact. It wasn't an accident. Craig ran her off the road, and Rosanna didn't just sprain an ankle. She wound up in a coma. I'm just drawing the parallel here, Paul. The par... It's karmic retribution. That's what it is. Delivered by... I have no idea. Don't look at us. We've been here all afternoon. Really? Can anyone verify that? Millie! Could you see Lieutenant Hughes out, please, and, and feel free to answer any questions that she may have along the way. That's okay, Millie. I know my way out of here. Uh, if you do remember anything, you know where to find me, right? Yeah. I thought for sure Marco had come to arrest me. Yeah, I know. We dodged that one. Better than Craig dodged the car. That's so not funny. I know. I'm sorry. It's all right. You can't help yourself. I just don't understand what he's doing. Who? Craig? Yes. I mean, obviously he spoke to Margot after the accident, but he didn't tell her anything about the money, otherwise she would have arrested me. Well, maybe he's willing to let the whole thing go. But why? 